Hey everybody, what are you guys up to? My name is Buddy Blackford and welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to import camera raw data files so that you can work on them in Photoshop. Now what I did is I got um, uh, some free raw files off of uh, this website here called uh, rawsamples.ch and then you can download a sample of a camera raw file from any of these types of uh, cameras and uh, what a what a camera raw file is is um, when you shoot in the highest quality on like your digital camera so if you're shooting with like a Canon uh, 5D or a, a, a Nikon um, D3X or something like that any of these uh, types of uh, higher end cameras will shoot out these camera raw images that are used for um, higher end quality images. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open up one of these and it brings up a whole different bunch of menus that are different when you're just importing a regular image. So I'm going to open up the camera raw file that I downloaded and uh, it was a Canon 5D uh, camera raw image. So I'm going to open that up and it brings us to this uh, screen here where we can uh, do a few things differently to our image and adjust it before we bring it into Photoshop. So the first things I want to show you here is the uh, different, oops sorry, the different um, tabs that we have over here on the right. So we've got our basic tab here that um, has a, a lot of color correction um, uh, what do we call them properties and different little sliders here that we can use to adjust how our image looks um, they've got this new auto total balance um, button here that we could click to try have uh, Photoshop automatically try to do that for us if I click on it now we get uh, more brighter colors and it looks pretty uh, sweet so that's uh, something that you can mess with in here in Photoshop there's a bunch of other tabs here we've got tone curve that we can uh, mess around with um, detail grayscale and all these other ones that you should go through and click on to see um, what's inside and mess around with a little bit now um, I'll go over these in more depth in a later tutorial when we realize what everything means a little bit more but that's what I wanted to show you quickly now there's a preview button up here that if you uh, toggle it and untoggle it you can see how the different um, balances how your different uh, um, properties have been modified and how they look um, if you have it unchecked it's just going to stay on what was uh, regularly imported now there is a set of options up here um, where we have our zoom tool our hand tool where we can uh, move this around if we needed to so if I zoom in enough I can use my hand tool to move around um, we've got our color sampler and white balance tools here um, target adjust targeted adjustment we got our crop tool so there's a few different tools here that we can use to um, edit our photo here and then we also have the uh, zoom level down here at the bottom that we can use and there's a couple presets here and then we also have the fit view which is uh, handy if I come down here and click on the uh, file name here I can um, change the color space, the bit depth, the size here, and uh, some of the resolution and everything in here. And then um, I can check this to open up as a smart object if I would like, and I'll go over that stuff later on. So we can change all this stuff to uh, what we want it to be. So I'll just hit OK. I'll just hit Cancel because I didn't want to change anything. Now over here on our uh, tabs over here we also have the uh, menu options here where we can uh, load settings that we have saved 
or save the settings that we have now to use on another photo and um, other things such like that that we can uh, we can save the defaults and everything like that so that's how we um, import a image into the camera raw then if we like what we have going on I can click on save image to save it to a location and it defaults at the save and save location which is uh, pretty nice and then you can add the uh, document names and change the uh, file extension you can save it as a DNG which is digital negative and then we have the JPEG uh, uh, same thing again here we've got our TIFF and then we've got our PSDs and then also down here we can also uh, change the format as well so if I wanted to save it I just hit save and it will save it in the same location with our new modifications and then I could come down here to either open the image or I can hit done and it apply uh, it'll apply these changes but it won't open the image for us in Photoshop so let's open the image and it brings it up for us and now our image is imported with our new color correction tools on it so um, that's how you uh, start opening up uh, camera raw files in Photoshop and I, as I just wanted to show you that it was a little different from importing just regular images because you get to mess with uh, more color correction and tone values and everything like that so it's pretty, it's pretty uh, cool what we got going on there and uh, I'm just going to end the tutorial here, I guess. So thanks for watching this one, and we'll go more into depth in about this later on. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.